Recall our segment on Art Nation last year about people who lead secret art lives. Well, our next segment is all about a group of Melbourne singers who are leading lives a world away from the stage. So Antoinette Halloran caught up with some of the unsung heroes who make up the People's Opera. <laughs> La 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 Du Paris Ritentore tu rai I'm here at the opening night of Melbourne Opera's The Merry Widow. Melbourne Opera is a small company that often punches above its operatic weight. And the chorus that make up Melbourne Opera aren't your everyday opera singers. These people during the day work as lawyers, nurses or policemen, but by night they come here to the Athenaeum Theatre and unleash a passion of operatic proportion. The company receives no government funding, so the chorus sing for free. As a result, there is a passion in these productions you don't often find elsewhere. There's no doubt that the enthusiasm that we get from the, the structure of the company, and that goes for the orchestra as well, that atmosphere transmits itself to the audience and we get that back. So they love coming to Melbourne Opera because the palpable enthusiasm that you get from the stage and the pit. Mary Widow is one of the most famous operettas in the repertoire. The chorus is really important. Not only do they sort of fill out the crowd scenes and create a lot to the sort of dramatic um, narrative, but also there are some beautiful choruses, especially in this. I will never ever forget the first time before the curtain came up. That will never go from my memory. How did you feel? Oh, I thought, what was I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic to hear that full orchestra come on uh, with the opening um, overture. Oh, uh, it was thrilling. Passion to, um, with the doctor. Okay. Sue, do you find it a, a great release from the stress, perhaps, of the emergency ward to come oh, here? Definitely. It's um, totally different from what I do at work and I just love the putting the makeup on the costumes to be someone that's um, totally different oh, I love it. Can I just pop Brandy? Is it all right? yeah. I've had yeah. suffered for a long time from performance anxiety and so by doing this it's really helped me a lot Ooh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so the nurses come and watch you perform are they often shocked oh yes they are and they say, oh, I saw you in um, Rigoletto, and oh, you were very raunchy on that, that time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just sort of brings out your inhibitions. Now, what do the people at work, your fellow gardeners, think of you when you have a seeing in the garden? Well, I'm mainly on my own, thank heavens, but uh, <laughs> some of the other gardeners, uh, oh, the, the people that are there, no, they, they stop and listen, and uh, sometimes uh, you might get the odd clap, or, or someone said, you know, you should, you should stick to your day job. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just the singers who lead double lives. The orchestra members teach, write, and even police for a living. I always say that the police work pays the bills and this keeps me sane. So um, it's good to unwind after a hard day at work and come and sit in the pit and uh, have a go through one of the charts. I've seen so many productions where the chorus can completely draw your focus because either they're thinking about the shopping list or they're um, overacting uh, a treat. <laughs> and so it's important that you have a chorus who kind of knows exactly what their job is. I love you, I love you, I love you! A lot of them have been in quite a few productions, especially for this company, so they kind of know the drill. You know, you, you have the odd person tripping over and dropping a fan or a headpiece, but to be honest, that happens everywhere. <laughs> I've never worked with a chorus of people who are wanting to be there so much. You know, this is not a day job for them, it's a release and it's somewhere they can come and, and sort of fulfil a little bit of their passion and their dreams. And so rehearsals, were really fun because they really wanted to be there and I've done a lot of productions where people are really waiting to clock off. 
So, Sue, what's it like working alongside professionals like Ali McGregor mm. and David Roger Smith? Yeah. I, I still don't believe that I'm, I'm here, that I am with these people, and I've seen them on television, so, so therefore I can't, I feel like pinching myself that I'm really here. Go, go, go.